as COVID-19 continues to ravage the U.S., with now about 1.5 million people infected with the virus and over 85,000 people dead, the country is in a crisis mode. Like all other sectors, small businesses, many of them operated by Ugandans living in the U.S., have been badly hit. Here in Kanoga, a neighborhood of Los Angeles, California, lives one Haruna Kabuye. He has been a resident of the area for the last 10 years and he started his business here four years ago. Previously, his street where his shop is located would normally be buzzing with traffic. But due to COVID-19 pandemic, this is no more as all these stores are locked up. Haruna, who runs a boutique that deals in clothing and cosmetics, says he had stocked his store hoping to rip from this Ramadan season. He was also hoping to benefit with the summer business boom that usually starts early June. We, our business is based on, on seasonal. So uh, until probably next year and by then even the, the fashion might be off. Small business communities such as these are not even sure if they shall open soon because the mayor of Los Angeles recently announced that the lockdown is likely to continue until August. It seems like we will be closed almost until August. So we are not yet sure. And even though if they open, they let us open today, people don't have money because a lot of people haven't been working. One other challenge that Haruna faces is that, despite the U.S. government having approved a loan package for small businesses, he hasn't yet been approved for the loan. I, I just submitted my application and with my bankers, so it's still under review. Uh, hopefully, uh, it will happen sooner rather than later. Haruna is only lucky that the U.S. government notified all the property owners not to evict tenants. Now his worry is that he shall have to pay for the forfeited month he never paid. But still, it's a debt that is not going to go away. Eventually, we're going to have to pay, uh, you know, the dues. He has now been forced to start disposing some of his merchandise like cosmetics, which are soon expiring. So uh, I've spent a couple of hours going through all my, uh, my product to make sure that uh, I take out all uh, the product that are due for expiry or um, almost expiring. For now, just like other businessmen, his prayer is that the spread of coronavirus is brought under control and restriction can be eased. For some of the different people here in the diaspora, especially Ugandans, opening of the different phases is their only hope. Now, here in Los Angeles, California, the third phase is when some of them will see their businesses open, and it's their only hope. Maurice Cho, NTV, here in Canoga, Los Angeles, California.